This is the top five meta loadouts in Warzone and Rebirth Island. I'm going to give you guys the absolute easiest ones to use and ones that you can mostly use in ranked play. These things basically have no recoil and they have extremely fast TTKs. So we're going to start out with the fastest and best TTK SMG and then the best long range. We're starting out with the static HV. Real quick, shout out to Sergio for the freaking $170 donation as Dono King. Shout out to Webby for the freaking multiple gifted and toxic fun. You guys are amazing. Start out with the quartermaster suppressor for being undetected by the radar gun can control and recoil control at the cost of aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed. This is the best attachment, the best muzzle for the static HV. There's literally no better attachment, I would say honestly for any SMGs. Next put on the auger 840 light barrel for the aim down sight speed, sprint to fire speed, movement speed and hip fire and attack stance spread at the cost of recoil control and gun kick control. This is the best choice in my opinion so you can get pretty good mobility. The mobility and handling increase are just so worth it. Put on the XRK Edge BW4 hand stop for aim walking speed, movement speed, aim down sight speed, and sprint to fire speed at the cost of aim walking steadiness and hip fire intact stance spread. The mobility and handling increase for this is definitely substantial. The ADS movement speed is the big thing for this. You definitely want to have good strafe speed. Put on the Warcat 90 grip for sprint to fire speed and aim down sight speed at the cost of recoil control. Now, I see some people use an alternative. The alternative that they typically use is a stock. Now, completely up to you if you choose to use that stock, but in my opinion, this is better. Finally, I put on the NIDR 2023. This is my personal preference. Now, once again, if you did not want to use the Warcat, you can use the SPRY34 light stock. This is the stock I was talking about before. Now, technically, it does help with horizontal and vertical recoil and also helps with the movement and a little bit of handling, but you lose significant sprint to fire speed. So that's why I chose not to use it. But if you want to, completely your choice. This SMG is one of the easiest SMGs to use. All you guys have to do is hold your thumbstick down a little bit. I know Shocker is extremely hard, right? Now, the only thing I would say is be careful long range because there is recoil, but if you can handle it, completely up to you. Fantastic choice overall. I absolutely love this at short to medium range because it really just gets the job done. So, here's the entire class setup for the static HB. Make sure you take a screenshot, take a picture, whatever you guys have to do. Next, for the STG 44, go on the quartermaster suppressor for being undetectable by the radar, gun kick control, and recoil control at the cost of aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed. This is the best muzzle. The Jack BFB ruins bullet velocity, so you don't want that. Cass's break is not as good as the quartermaster, and nothing else is either, like the Zemin. This is the best possible choice, plus, it keeps you off the mini map. Put on the Heinrichter C70 long barrel for bullet velocity and range and aiming out of sway. I see a lot of people using the Bruin Crux heavy barrel. Trust me, you don't need the assisted recoil control. You want as much bullet velocity as possible because it's already basically has no recoil. 28% increase for effective, effective and minimum damage range and 21% increase for bullet velocity. Definitely worth it. Put on the 50 round drum for as many bullets as possible. Choreo Eagle's Eye 2.5 times is my preference, but you can use the Jack Glasses Optic. That's what I was using at first. And then finally, the DR79 combo stock for gun recoil control, recoil control and firing aim stability at the cost of sprint to fire speed, aim down sight speed and hip fire spread, which does not matter. You get 21% increase for recoil gun kick control and then 11% increase for vertical and horizontal recoil control. End product is super busted. It doesn't take like any effort to actually use this gun. I'm barely holding my thumbstick down. As you guys see, there's basically zero recoil. That's why I said that you don't really need the crux heavy when you have something that's very manageable like this. So if you're not using this setup, you're most likely going to lose to this setup. Make sure you're using the Heinrichter. Do not use the Acrux. Use the Heinrichter. Next is the Superior 46 for those that still love this weapon. Even though it got nerfed, I still think it's extremely meta and extremely powerful. Throw on the Quartermaster Suppressor for being undetectable by the radar, gun kick control, recoil control at the cost of aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed. This is the best choice for the recoil and it keeps you off the minimap. 10% for both recoil, gun kick, and vertical recoil and 23% for horizontal recoil, which is absolutely insane. Zulu Ops 3 Light Barrel for crouch movement speed, aim walking movement speed. And the beautiful thing is the only thing it reduces is hip fire and attack stance flint and flinch resistance, which really does not matter in my opinion. The mobility increase is so worth it. The ADS movement speed 14% and crouch movement speed 10%, which is so massive. On the XRK Edge BW4 hand stop for aim walking speed, movement speed, aim down sight speed, and sprint to fire speed. This is so crucial once again because the ADS movement speed goes up once again, but it also helps with movement speed, ADS speed, and sprint to fire speed significantly. We're going to put it on a 40 round mag for as many bullets as possible. Finally, we're putting on the Rescue 9 stock for tactical sprint speed movement speed sprint speed and recoil control at the cost of flinch resistance and aiming out of sway look at the increase of movement speed 12 percent sprint speed nine percent tactical sprint speed nine percent and then horizontal and vertical go up eight percent it's just an absolutely amazing stock i see a lot of people using the bore 99 short barrel for the movement and in my opinion you get just as good movement with this and honestly the beautiful thing is there's fantastic recoil control too now if you're somebody that wants to actually use this long range you can but you know, I try to avoid the long range engagement just because it's a little iffy. But if you're somebody that likes to use that long range, be my guess. But 
stick to the short to medium range engagement you'll do much better so here's the entire class setup right here make sure you take a picture screenshot whatever you guys have to do attack evolver is absolutely insane and if you're not using this and you don't have the stg then you're going to be at a massive disadvantage throwing the quartermaster suppressor from being undetectable by the radar gun kick control and recoil control at the cost of aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed this is so crucial and probably the best attachment for it next put on the lrf righteous long barrel for the bullet velocity and range aiming out sway aim walking speed and recoil control you're going to have significant aim down sight speed sprint to fire speed hip fire attack stand spread and sprint speed decreases but but in my opinion this is probably the best no recoil gun you can have in the game the effect of a minimum damage range go up 20 percent bullet velocity 10 percent it's just the best choice overall you can't find a better one put on the broom pivot vertical grip for the gun kick control vertical recoil aiming out of sway and firing aim stability at the cost of horizontal recoil aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed this is the best choice believe me put on the jack glasses optic but i guess technically you could put on the choreo if you really wanted to and finally i put on the rampart heavy stock for the gun kick control and recoil control at the cost of aim down sight speed sprint to fire speed sprint speed and tactical sprint speed i'm letting you guys know right now this is much slower than the stg in regards to like adsing but this thing has zero recoil so going into the firing range i just wanted to give you guys that warning you see it is it's very slow ads but it is extremely powerful and it basically has zero recoil for any range so it's really how you want to weigh your options like if you want something that has no recoil and packs a heavy punch from all distances then this is definitely the one for you this is kind of only if you don't have the stg though i mean it has plenty of bullets so if you're basically like a tank or something on your team if you need to give suppressive fire whatever you guys have to do then this is definitely the one for you but if you can use the stg use the stg finally the most powerful gun in the game right now the reclaimer 18 i'm still surprised that not many people know about this and aren't using it that much it's getting a little bit more popular as more videos go out but this is definitely something you need to use if you haven't been using it yet so on the bryson improved choke for the hip fire attack stance spread tighter pellet spread and damage range at the cost of recoil control and aim down sight speed which does not matter trust me we're trying to max out the damage and range as much as possible along with the accuracy put on the discourager 900 heavy barrel for the tube ammo capacity bullet velocity and range recoil control and gun kick control those things the last two don't really matter um, it's just the range increases significantly which is what we want effective 15 percent minimum 14 percent bullet velocity 7 percent which is great xrk edge bw4 hand stop is a good choice but there are alternatives and this is just for if you want better movement speed technically this does reduce tax tax stand spread significantly if you don't want that you can take this off or put on the haste 15 grip tape for the tax stand spread and sprint to fire speed it only increases flinch resistance which you're not gonna have to worry about that the tax stand spread goes down 21 percent which is absolutely massive i just see a lot of people using the xrk edge bw4 hand stop for the strafe speed but if you don't care too much about the straight speed for this build then this is the one for you next we're putting on the kimura ril laser light for the aim walking steady next we're putting on the kimura ril laser light for the aim walking steadiness tax stand spread sprint to fire speed and aim down sight speed the downsize flashlight and laser is visible in ads so if you don't want that don't put this on there but tax stand spread 18 percent ADS speed 9% sprint to fire speed 18% it's honestly the best one I can't think of a better option finally we're putting on the finally we're putting on the no stock for crouch movement speed sprint to fire speed aim down sight speed and aim walking speed now don't even pay attention to the cons because the accuracy is the big thing hip fire spread minimum 16% spread max 6% tax stand spread 8% flinch resistance does not matter movement and handling is just is such an amazing thing I can't show you guys in the firing range because this is just a close range damage build it's so powerful and when you guys try it out one time you're going to be shocked that you haven't used it before